welcome to Joy Junctique. I'm Rhonda, and I'm happy that you're here today, and I hope you're just having a wonderful day. I just want to share something with you today, a project that I did for Christy at Everlasting Journals, and I've used these kits before, um, and I'll have them linked below, but I've used these before, and I just really like these images. So um, I just decided to do something else with these same kits. So I've been wanting to Mod Podge on some of the, the patterns here, and I got really good results, I think. What I've done is I've made um, like a journal wallet um, that has ephemera, it has a little journal, and a few other little things. So I wanted to show you what I had done with it and the different styles that I had made and how I went about that. So I'm gonna move these two out for a second and I'll show you this one. And so you can see it has a shine about it and that is from my Mod Podge and I actually use the matte Mod Podge. So it's not as shiny as it could be if you use the glossy. And so it's actually just printed on regular paper that I had coffee dyed. And so I cut out around the design, any extra white that was around it, I cut that off and got it ready, uh, rounded my corners and then I Mod Podged it. And so I just laid it out and painted Mod Podge all over it. So this one I lined with fabric and I'll show you as I get into it. But I just sewed around the edges of that and secured the fabric to it. I put a little bit of glue just to hold it down first and then I just stitched around the edges and secured the fabric and also gave this a finished look. So I just um, added a little lace here, which I'll show you on the inside, and a little seam binding ribbon. And that's really all I did to the outside of this one. I like how plain it is, but I also like the effect that I got with just this little bit of vintage lace. So as we open it, it Velcro shut, just these little Velcro pieces. This one I actually lined with some fabric, just that, um, I think this had come from Lavish Laces. And then this is a piece of lace that I had gotten at a thrift shop. And I just cut a piece to go there and glued it down right here on the edges and glued it down the middle where I had the Velcro just so that that wouldn't pull up when you opened and closed it. So that made two little pockets here. And so this, I just made a little envelope out of one of the, the designs. I'm gonna put this tiny little photo in there. And then here, I just shrunk this piece that's like a little dolly and just cut it to fit this little um, notepad with just leftover pieces of paper. And then in this pocket, I have a pretty little journal and I just love this. And so when I bound it, I, I put the strings on the outside so I could tie it with that. And inside just has coffee dyed papers, embossed paper, pieces from some of her kits, lined paper, just some old uh, paper that you use for packaging. So it's just got all kinds of little designs and patterns in here, but it's basically just plain so that you can embellish or write or whatever you want to do. So that's the little journal. And then inside, I have a cute little tag that I used one of my die cuts on. And I lined it with some coffee dyed paper on the back. Added some more ribbon and a little key. I just think that's so pretty. And then I added a cute photo, a swan, this other cute photo. I love that chicken with the glasses on. And then this I just kind of made either a little journaling spot or you could make it into a little card to give with this as a gift. And then this little glassine envelope, it just holds, so it just holds these little pieces. Um, this is a little paper ribbon that I cut from one of the designs. And here's another piece, looks like lace. And just open up and be used in a journal. 
And then here's just a little stamp that I thought was cute that I cut out with my thinning shears. And so here you can see where I lined it with that fabric. I just thought it was really pretty like that. And on the sides, I just gusseted it with a piece of lace that I just glued inside there. So that's how it is able to expand. But it actually feels like, I mean, it feels like a thin leather. So I think it did really well. So I'll just go back in there and then journal will just tie and slip back in there too. So I think these would be really cute little gift sets or just something you could kind of slip down in your purse so when you needed a little journal you could write and it would also protect it. That's that's basically why I wanted to make the little wallet is to protect the, the journal if you wanted to take it with you. So there is that one. And then these, I just made a little matching set. I had an extra piece here, so I just made a mini one. But um, this one, I just added some little frou-frou to, just some old um, tool that was from a skirt and this old piece of little lace from like a curtain or something. And here I just made a little cluster that I put on with the little safety pin. And in the center, I just felt like it needed something in the center. So I had this little crochet flower and I added the little button. And this one I just stitched around this part because I already had it together before I thought about the stitching. And um, so, but I think that added the effect I wanted. And it also, I was able to stitch this little tool piece on there too. So when you open it up, you can see where it was the bottom of a little skirt. And I did the same thing with it with the Velcro. And this right here I put to cover the thread that I used to put this little button on. Because it wasn't a flat button, I had to stitch it through. I couldn't just glue it. So I just added this tiny little flower there. And then in each of these pockets, you have a journaling tag. And so in here, we have a journal and I'll pull it out first. And so I just added the tool around the journal just to kind of dress it up a little bit. It's just a real skinny little journal, but it's sweet. And then these little buttons are in the kit, so I just punched that out and added a little piece of lace there. And so here you just have a little fold out. You can make them two pockets on each end, or you can just, you know, open it up and write. And then inside is just lots of my little coffee dive spritz pages. And then here, let's see if I can show you. This one I lined with the brown craft paper. And then I have a couple of dividers in here that I just cut from brown cardstock and added uh, a piece from one of the pages. And so both of the dividers just fit in this little, little center fold there that's wider. And so on the sides of this one, I just used a piece that I had left from when I Mod Podged this. And um, so I just used a little piece there, folded it up in accordion fold so you would get that little gusset. And so those just fit in that middle section. So behind the first divider, I have some ephemera. So I have this little, just it was a piece left over that I just folded. It can be used for journaling or you could make a little tiny little notepad out of it. And then I have this piece, and then I have this lace dolly. So those could be used in other projects or cut to fit in the journal. But those go behind the first little divider. And then here's the second divider. 
in my hand yet. I just have these cute little photos. So those all slip back in there. And the journal just slips in the front of the back. And so there's that one. And here's the back side of it. And so the little mini one, I just couldn't resist making a little one like it. So I have the little cluster and this little piece of lace. And then here I just put in a little matchbook that I made with a piece left over. Added some tool there. And it's just got little coffee dyed pages. And then I have another little glassine bag with some buttons and a stamp. And so this will just go with this. And so that is how I went about that. Um, it was lots of fun. It wasn't that hard to create really. Um, you just kind of make it like you would anything else, but you just add the Mod Podge first and then just fold it up and add your little pockets. So it was really fun. It's just another way that you can use these digitals um, and any digitals that you have. So um, just a fun little project and would make a really sweet little gift. And so I hope you liked that and I hope you got some ideas today. And just be sure and check out these kits if you like them. And she has a lot more kits that you might be interested in too. So um, I hope you have fun and just enjoy creating and know how much I appreciate each of you. Thank you for all of my new subscribers and all of you that are supporting me all along the way. I really, really appreciate every one of you. And I just wish you joy in all that you do. So y'all just have a good rest of your week. And I'll be back soon with some more projects and some more videos as soon as I can. So y'all just feel my hugs. And I will see you back here really soon. God bless.